Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Shed with me Mark and today is a great day because BleemSync 1.0.1 has officially been released and you are able to go and download it and chuck it on your systems. This video today is a tutorial to show you how to do that. It's really pretty easy, so that's good for you guys who are already on 1.0. I'm going to have to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to upgrade from 0.4 to 1.0.1. That will be a separate video. But this video today is assuming you are on 1.0 already and you want to install 1.0.1. So let's have a quick look and see what is new in 1.0.1 and then we're going to move on straight away into the tutorial. So uh, here we go, it's great pleasure we can announce the release of BleemSync 1.0.1. It's a hot fix release with some included quality of life improvements. Excellent. We'd also like to mention the development of BleemSync 1.1 is under full swing and is currently our number one priority. The largest features 1.1 will bring to the table are OTG and a desktop app, as I said in the last update video if you watched that. So let's have a look. Japanese and Chinese systems now supported. That's good news for those of you that want that. Uh, extended controller support. There's a whole load of stuff around controllers, which is awesome. And as you can see here, we've bundled as many combinations as possible. Please bear in mind, this isn't an exact science. We will extend the list when possible. Good news. Uh, new reworked optimized RetroArch 1.7.6 with Ozone support. This is great news. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. If you want to read about that, then feel free to pause the video and read that. Or jump over to the Mod My Classic website and you can have a look for yourself. New dynamic memory optimizations and tuning, which is great. Just a bit more stabilization around it. Boot directly to RetroArch available. I showed you guys where this option was last time in my 1.0 video, but unfortunately it wasn't working at that point, but it is now. So make sure you have a look at that and how to do it. A note on custom themes. Guys, if you're about to do this, then make sure you listen to this notice. If you've changed the default theme files in any way, this update will overwrite them. So please be wary of that and don't come crying to me when you've overwritten your theme files and you're like, oh, I've told you, these guys have told you, it's very, very clear. So here is the installation, literally this simple. Unzip the contents of 1.0.1 zip on top of your pre-existing 1.0 install. Plug in your drive and turn on your system. On first boot, an update will run and your system will reboot. Game on! Love that. Love point five right there. If you want to read more about exactly what's gone into this release then click on this show more button and as you can see there's a whole ton of awesome stuff in there. I'm not going to go through that now because obviously you guys want to see the tutorial. So if you want to download it you can click on this link right here to download it which will take you to the Bleem Sync page. The standard one I've shown you many many times. There is now an option here 1.0. What they've also done is they've done these add-on packs. So if you want to stick with 1.0, you can then do the RetroArch only add-on. Or you can do the RetroArch cheat pack, or you can do the BleemSync RetroArch overlay pack. Then a bit further down, that's where the download link is. So click on that. It will take you to the GitHub where you can save the file and you can get on with your installation. I have opened up my USB stick right here this is my 1.0 installation as we did in the previous video and there we go we are done so let's open that up and let's put it alongside it so literally this is my usb drive here this is the folder i've just downloaded click those drag over copy and what you'll see is this copy comes up and a whole load of awesome stuff gets copied across if it prompts you, make sure you click yes to overwrite. Okay, so when this prompts you, make sure you click replace the files in this destination, as so, and it will continue. So there we go, it's almost done. That has taken absolutely forever because I have a very slow USB 2 memory stick, which is very annoying, but there you go. Uh, hopefully later on with 1.1, we'll be into the USB 3s good and proper, and this stuff will take no time at all. Right, so the copy is done. Now all you have to do is take your USB stick, get your PlayStation Classic, unplug the power, plug in the USB stick, as so, plug the power back in, and let's boot this bad boy up and see what happens. I'm just gonna switch over to the PlayStation Classic here, like so, turn the power on, and let's see what happens. Here we go, it's booting up, and the light is staying green. There we go. 
I think that's done. So in theory now, if we click into RetroArch, what we should see is 1.7.6 down in the bottom left, and that's how you know this has worked. Let me uh, just exit RetroArch, go back to BleemSync, and there you go. Everything is up and functioning perfectly. So now all you have to do is reboot the PlayStation Classic to get back to the BleemSync menu. So once you're back at this menu, all you have to do is go back over to your PC, open up your web browser, type in bleemsyncui.com, hit enter, and you'll get through to the UI again. The standard UI that we had in 1.0. Uh, if you are struggling at all with getting on this website, try just hitting it a few times and use this address, this 169.254.215.100 colon 5000 if you try that a few times then it should work I had to try it just a couple of times I had to hit enter and reload that page twice I think to get through to it so if you end up with that problem then just try again but I see it seems like once I've got into it once no problem at all so just make sure you try that a few times here is the the, the page we saw before in 1.0 if I click on bleem sync preferences let's see what's new here we go so Boots directly to the stock UI, boots directly to RetroArch. These now work, so feel free to give those a go. Uh, here we go. The stuff that I did last time has stayed the same. If true, then RetroArch is the emulator for stock UI. Toggle, Bleem, Sync, Splash Screen. All this stuff that I did before is still there. Lovely jubbly. From the bottom here, you can see if true, then play boot menu music, wav.loop. Same again. Select a random theme etc etc they have added this rebuild database button if you're having problems then you can rebuild the database that way click on games click on manage click on browse find your game let's find a game I want to try Wipeout Excel because I haven't had that working yet so just click on the game folder that you've got saved highlight the Q and bin like that click open and you'll see the game pop up it's found the cover and it's found the game so let's scroll down there so I just moved me out the way for a little bit just so you can see the add game button just down here at the bottom if you want to change any of this here description etc then you can click add game and then it will load the game okay so once the game is copied over you can see it here in the list you can click on it you can see it as before nothing's changed in that respect I purposely wanted to try Wipeout Excel to see if it loads. So let's drop on back over to the PlayStation Classic and we'll give it a go. Let's click on Bleem Sync and we should see Wipeout Excel here. There you go. Let's see if it loads because I know this has been a problem for a lot of people. Okay, so far so good. I didn't get anywhere near this last time. That's good news. All right, let's pause that right there. We can safely say Wipeout XL works. So dropping back over onto the BleemSync UI, if I go to the preferences, you can see that I've got here, if true, then RetroArch is the emulator of a stock UI. If you want to play Wipeout XL, make sure you check that box. So before I finish the video for today, the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that my RetroArch looked exactly the same as it always ever did. The reason for this is because I haven't put the overlay files onto my USB. So let's go ahead and do that now, as well as the cheap pack. So all you have to do is go ahead and download the two zip files, the pack cheat and the pack overlay zip files. Put those somewhere where you can get to them, and when you open them you will see that there is a BleemSync folder in each of them. So let's start with the overlay. So if we look through this, you will see that all the folders go through to RetroArch and there is a whole bunch of overlay folders in there. So all you have to do is get that BleemSync folder and chuck it on to your USB stick. That will copy the files across that you need and will leave everything else intact. So I've copied across the RetroArch pack overlay. We will also want to do the cheat pack. So if you just do the same thing again, copy, it will all paste across. And with the magic of video editing, that was about 15,000 files and about 20 megs worth of cheats. So it took a long time. It took about 10 minutes, guys. So please be aware of that. You might want to go off and make a cup of tea while that's copying across. So uh, that is the cheats done. That's the overlay done. The one thing you must, must, must remember to do at this stage to make this work is delete this retroarch.config file. So just hit delete on that 
Then you're welcome to take the USB out of your PC and plug it into your PlayStation Classic. Let's get this underway. Okay, as always, I've taken the power out just in case. Plug the USB in, plug the power in, wait for the power light to come on like that and switch the PlayStation Classic on. Okay, let's head on over to the PlayStation Classic and we will see how this looks. All right, Bleem Sync. Uh, hopefully, RetroArch looks completely different by the time we go into it. RetroArch, hit X, and then hopefully, there you go, look at that. That is the new layout for RetroArch. It's much nicer, much cleaner, and there's a whole load of nice stuff in there, including all the cheats that you've just loaded. So at this stage, just to show you that the cheats are there, I'll just pop on down to the cheat menu here. And as you can see here, load cheat file, and there's a whole load of stuff in there. And as you can see, if I go down to PlayStation, you can see all the PlayStation games there. So go nuts, guys. Have fun with that. Um, I will look to do a separate video about cheats so we can cover it in more detail. But for the benefit of this video, there you go. The cheats are there. And also, look at how good RetroArch looks. So that's good. That's it, guys. It's literally that simple. Just drag and drop, chuck, and, chuck the files in you're good to go. There are a few other things you can do around the themes, etc., but I will cover that in my next video. So thank you all very, very much for coming along. Don't forget to drop us a follow on Twitter where I will be dropping out updates around Bleem Sync and PS Classic and other stuff to do with the community. I'll drop it all on there, so make sure you're following us. Also, if you are interested, we have a Discord server and there is loads going on in there, including a modding and hacking room where you can go and ask questions if you've got them. So feel free to drop comments below or come over onto our Discord and you can chat to us directly on there. So thank you all very much for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you next time.